Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just had the privilege of spending a whole week in Sandal South Coast, so I want to show you all the amazing things that this all-inclusive resort has to offer. So let's jump right in. We chose to go to Sandal South Coast because it's supposed to be one of the most luxurious of the Sandals locations and it's an all-inclusive resort, which means that once you pay for your trip, you don't really have to pay for much else besides the tipping at the airport. We flew into Montego Bay. It's about an hour and a half drive, so you have a bus take you there. It's kind of a dangerous drive, I'm not gonna lie, but they get you there and you should definitely tip. I know that Sandals has a no tipping policy, but the bus drivers aren't actually associated with Sandals, so please carry some extra money. Here you can see the several little gift shops and the spa. It's called Red Lane Spa. They actually have Red Lane Spas in everybody's bathrooms and they're amazing. We stayed in the Italian Village. The Italian Village is the most recently renovated village and it's the village closest to all the restaurants in the main pool. So I would definitely suggest staying there if you don't want to walk too far. <laughs> so every room has a doorbell. Green is for letting the maid or housekeeper in and red is for do not disturb. So that's kind of a nice paperless system. So this is a normal Italian room. This is what we stayed in. Um, you have a king size bed. You have some wall art. The air conditioning is literally amazing. And since we were celebrating an occasion, just like a little um, love vacation, they decorated our bed every day, left us wine. It was super duper cute. We also had a huge TV and you had lots of alcohol. Once again, this is an all-inclusive resort, so all this alcohol is free. They restock it, but you cannot take it with you when you leave or they will bill you. So just know that. You also get a whole... Uh, mini bar which I never want to pay for so I was so excited you get champagne sprite coke diet coke juice all stuff to make little mixed drinks which is pretty nice we didn't really end up using it but they stocked it with lots of water which was nice because it's so hot outside but it's also very windy so it's very easy to convince yourself that like you don't need any water but you definitely do this is one of the little decorations that they did for us one day so cute so this is the little sitting area in the room and then we had this nice patio you're about to see in a second. So the thing about the patio is that when you open the patio, the air conditioning cuts off. They're all about actually being very sustainable and um, environmentally friendly there, which is very nice. Um, so this is a better room, um, view of our room. It was not like a huge room, but it was an appropriate size because literally all we did in our room was sleep all the rest of the day, literally from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. We were outside doing things and enjoying ourselves. This is the first time I ever went on vacation and I didn't want to ever be in the room. So that's a plus. At Sandals, you never have to worry about having towels. They have huge towel racks outside and they give you new towels in your room every day. Here are the spa things from Red Lane Spa. There is a lot, a lot of space for storage. I've never had this before. There's so many shelves for all of your things so you can actually unpack during your time there. Um, then you go into the actual bathroom, it's nice, the toilet and everything is separate from the sink. So you just have a toilet, you have some racks for your towels, and then you have this huge bathtub. Um, I know who wants to take a bath on vacation, the answer is me, because I love to take baths, and the bath was really clean, I just disinfected it, it fit me, and I'm pretty fat, so that was really nice. However, some people complain about they're not very good rails for elderly people to get in and out of the bathtub, and I would definitely agree, so maybe bring like a bath mat or a cane if you're older. This is the closet. It fit all of our things that we wanted to hang up. Everything else we put in the dressers. The closet also has a safe. It has two bathrobes, an ironing board, an iron, um, and the light goes on automatically when you open the doors and closes and turns off when you close it. So it's another environmentally friendly thing that they've done. You also have an in-room thermostat. The air conditioning, once again, is amazing. Um, they ask that you turn it off when you leave the room, um, but it works very, very well, so you don't need to worry about ever being hot. I actually wanted an extra um, blanket at night. This is a view of our room when it was more clean, and here's a little setup they did, and then our room actually looked at onto one of the jacuzzis. You can book a standard club level or butler room. I would suggest booking a club level room. It comes with free room service, they set up all your travel arrangements to and from the airport, and a 24-7 lounge. They made the trip worry-free and they showered us with love for our romantic vacation. I wouldn't suggest the butler suites. There's someone following you around all day and it is a very uncomfortable dynamic. This is the Dutch Village. It has its own pool and jacuzzi which is substantially smaller than the main pool. It is directly next to Latitude's Overwater Bar. 
The Dutch and French villages have real grass and therefore more bugs than the Italian village, which has turf, so consider that if you're sensitive to mosquitoes. Latitudes has overwater hammocks and they also have sitting areas with fire pits, which could be really romantic late at night. While the Dutch village has latitudes, the Italian village has a swim-up bar in the main pool and the French village has a swim-up bar in their pool. The French village pool is the fun pool. They play music and water sports. The other pools are for, mostly for lounging and tanning. Remember though, the ocean is literally footsteps away. They have floating rafts anchored in the ocean and several different types of water activities, including kayaking, sailing, tubing, and paddleboarding. You can also snorkel and scuba dive. It's important to bring water shoes to sandals because they have many sea urchins which can hurt your feet. This is the pool in the French village. There's only one restaurant located on this side of the resort, so be prepared to walk if you stay over here, but it is significantly cheaper. The French village is right beside the overwater bungalows. The bungalows don't actually give you as much privacy as advertised, and honestly there are so many things to do on the resort that the extent to which you'll be in your room may not be worth the price. The resort is very green and well manicured. There are tennis and basketball courts. Scattered throughout the resort are other games such as Life Size Connect 4 and Chess. This is the dock that you gather on a scuba dive, snorkel, and go on the glass bottom boat. The dock is located directly next to the Aqua Center and the Mediterranean restaurant Neptunes. There are several in-water sitting areas to relax on, as well as countless beach chairs. There are cabanas as well, but you have to pay for them. This is the Jerk Shack, one of the lunch restaurants on the resort. Many people got married in this overwater chapel during our stay. It is very beautiful and the wedding is free. However, it gets very windy in the afternoon, so beware of sand blowing on your guests. So now, let's talk food. This is an all-inclusive resort, but the portion sizes are extremely small. My fiance and I both lost weight on the trip, so bring snacks and don't be embarrassed to ask for two or three portions. However, the food is pretty good for resort food, especially Jasmine's an Asian restaurant in Bayside, the morning buffet. They also have an amazing Parisian cafe with crepes and the best frappuccino I've ever had. We went there countless times throughout the day because we just needed a snack because we were so hungry. Other restaurants include Schooner's, Sushi on the Seine, Giuseppe's, which has great pizza, and Neptune's, which is Mediterranean. They also have a martini bar, and they also have snacks in the gift shop. Now let's talk finances. Make sure you have your money worked out before you travel. There is a $400 incidental slash resort activity fee, plus the excursion costs. Sandals is definitely a bang for your buck, but know that the off-resort excursions are costly and are not factored into your Sandals reservation. This is the main pool where we spent most of our time. I want to end with a few more things to know. 1. Most of the people staying at Sandals are older. If you're looking to party, Sandals South Coast is not for you. 2. There are very few vendors at Sandals South Coast, so you always feel safe and relaxed. South Coast was an amazing choice on our part. 3. PDA is limited at the resort, especially for LGBT couples like us. However, we did not experience any overt discrimination that is common in Jamaica, so we were extremely grateful for the treatment we received at Sandals. And four, if you want to explore the island, South Coast is very secluded. It's a one and a half hour drive, so you're not really going to see anything besides the ocean and the resort. So if you're not okay with that, maybe choose another Sandals location. In all, we loved our vacation and we would definitely return. Also, when you do return, you get a discount. So definitely try Sandals South Coast if this is something that interests you. Thanks for watching.